Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. At DC TechNet, we believe that knowledge will only grow when we share it. So our mission is to share our insights with everyone. So do join by subscribing and sharing the channel. And we also like to do something different and challenge our status quo. So let's see what we have today. So today we are going to configure Windows Server as a router. So first and foremost, we'll see what is a router. Very basic. Then understand the lab setup. And then we'll configure Windows Server as a router in our labs. So what is a router? So a router is a device that connects two or more computer networks and allow them to communicate with each other. So in layman's language, a router is a device. So it can be hardware, it can be software, which connects two or more different subnets or networks. So in this example over here, we have two networks or two subnets, you can say 10.108.00 and 172.16.00. So if we want these two networks to talk with each other or communicate with each other, we will require a router in between and we need to configure this router so that there will be a communication happening between these two subnets or these two networks. So let us understand our lab setup, the end result. So we have a laptop name, laptop one, and we have another laptop, laptop two. And the IP address of laptop one is 192.168.100.100. And the IP address of laptop two is 172.16.0.100. Now our target is to make sure that these two laptops talk with each other. So laptop one is say connected to switch one and laptop two is connected to switch two. So these two laptops are in two different subnets or different networks. So our task is to make sure that these two laptops talk with each other. So for that, we will go ahead and configure a Windows server as a router. Now for this router, we will require two network interface cards or NICs or Ethernet controllers. So one Ethernet controller will be connected to switch one, which is on laptop one. And the other Ethernet controller will be connected to switch two, which is on the laptop two, the side of laptop two. And we will assign a static IP address 192.168.100.1 on laptop one side and the other network interface card would be 172.16.0.1 on the laptop to side. So still these two laptops won't be able to talk with each other. We need to configure LAN routing on this Windows server for this server to be working as a router. So we will be configuring LAN routing on this router or this Windows server. And at the end, we will make sure that the gateways are at place on both the laptops. Laptop one would be 192.168.100.1. 
and for laptop 2 it would be 172.16.0.1 so all the traffic going out of 192.168.100.0 network will be routed through 100.1 and all the traffic from the network 172.16.0.0 will be routed through 0.1 gateway and at the end we will test the connectivity between laptop 1 and laptop 2 so let's jump onto the labs and configure windows server as a router welcome to the labs and we have three computers over here this is our router laptop one and we have laptop two so for this router we can see the IP addresses over here it's 192.168 100.1 for one NIC which is connected to laptop one and we have another NIC that is 172.16.0.1 which is connected to laptop two so we have two NICs configured to this particular router and uh, the IPs are 192.168.100.100 and 192.168 0 0.100 so what we are going to do is everything is set now we just need to configure say LAN routing on this particular Windows server so let me go to manage add roles and features click on next 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 and let us select remote access so we'll be installing the remote access rule on this particular windows server so we'll just it's a straightforward install and here we get some options over here so we are only focusing on routing over here and definitely we will add additional features which are required for routing just click on next next and it's the straightforward installation it will take some time so in the meantime uh, i think uh, everyone is quite aware of the labs now so these two laptops are in different subnets or networks 192.168.100.100 is laptop 1 and laptop 2 is 192.16.0.100 and we will be configuring this router to make sure that these two laptops which are in different network will talk with each other so let's see how the things go and the configuration is very simple it will not take more than say five minutes to configure LAN routing so it is uh, 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 say not at all recommended to configure a Windows Server as a router in a production environment but definitely for testing purpose we we can use say Windows Server as a router and in our upcoming labs that is active directory sites and services we will be using the same router and we will be configuring a different active directory site altogether so the installation is completed let's click on close let's go to tools and we have an option routing and remote access so let's open up routing and remote access
now the installation is done we are configuring routing now okay so this is the interface which is not yet configured as you can see we have a red dot over here so let us right click on this router let's try to read something just wait patience is the key over here for a good administrator okay now I have right clicked on it and we will click on configure and enable routing and remote access and the new wizard comes up next so there are so many options over here it's a VPN NAT VPN access and NAT so we are not at all say concern about these options over here will be only focusing on say LAN routing which is present over here over here under custom configuration let me select custom configuration next and again we have uh, say so many options over here but over here will be only and only focusing on LAN routing we don't want say VPN or dial-up or any other option we are only focusing on LAN routing over here so let us select LAN routing and click on next and click on finish so it's that simple so after clicking on finish it will say create the network interface card it will configure routing and it will ask us to start the service so I'm starting the service on this router okay so now the red dot became green so let me expand it network interfaces so we have two or four interfaces loopback as well IP addresses you can see we have 172 16 and 192 168 so routing has already started you can see over here there is some data going here and there now what we'll do is we'll go to laptop one and then we will go ahead and ping the IP the, sorry, the gateway of laptop 2 so so the IP of this laptop is 192.168.100.1 100 so let me ping first of all we'll ping the default gateway okay so the default gateway is working absolutely fine so we'll check the if the routing is happening or not so we'll ping 16.0.1 absolutely fantastic so the routing is also working fine over here now let us ping so right now we pinged this laptop and this router now now let us ping this laptop and say laptop 1 and laptop 2 ping 172.16.0.100 yeah we are facing some challenge over here see over here this is no it went ahead it went fine it went fine let us ping it again yeah it's working absolutely fine so we are able to ping from here we are able to ping this router and from here we are also able to ping this laptop what we'll do is we'll go the other way around now 
we'll go ahead and ping this the from this laptop we'll ping this router and then from this laptop laptop 2 we will ping laptop 1 so let's log on to laptop 2 now so ping 172.16.0.1 that's a router so it's not pinging its own gateway so it's not pinging this IP this one let us ping one more time let us check the IP configuration for this laptop let me go to properties IPv4 properties 172.16.0.100.0.1 0 everything looks good over here so let's see why it is not working now let's if it's not working let's go the other way around see we are a troubleshooter so let's ping this laptop from this router now somewhat like this so let's log on to the router let me increase the font for 24 okay ping 172.16.0.100 okay so we are getting replies from this laptop so it's somewhat like this so from here to here it's working absolutely fine but from here to here it's not working so let's see pinging up again sometimes it works see it works now so it takes some time for it to work now we tested from this laptop to this router so let us ping from this laptop to laptop 1 laptop 2 to laptop 1 now ping 192.168.100.100 perfect so our routing is enabled and it's working perfectly fine so in this lab we have successfully configured a windows server as a router so let us summarize what we have seen today so we have successfully configured a windows server as a router in today's session now in our upcoming session we will be configuring active directory sites and services and we will be using the same router and uh, we'll configure IP subnet site link and we will test Active Directory replication so thank you for joining today's session hope you have enjoyed it and uh, if you feel this channel is helping you to learn anything new please share and subscribe this channel with your friends and your technical community and enjoy your day.